Hello and welcome to another video. In this one we're going to be talking about the use fixtures marker in PyTest. And this was actually a question that came up from a previous video. So I'm going to copy some code over from a previous video and then we're going to talk about why I decided to use a particular function over the normal way that you would use fixtures in PyTest. And I still haven't done a video on fixtures, but I'll do that eventually. So uh, look, look out for that in the playlist. Um, but let's jump into it. Okay, so this is the code that we had from last time. This comes from the Funk Tools LRU cache testing video, uh, and I'll, I'll link that in the description below. And someone asked in my Twitch chat, why did I use this use fixtures decorator? Shouldn't I have just used fixtures in the normal way? And, and the normal way that you use fixtures in PyTest is to just use a function argument, clear LRU cache, that matches the fixture name. Uh, and PyTest does some sort of implicit magic and will insert the value that got yielded here, which in this case is none, so this will this will always be none there. And uh, the reason that I did this is it seems to be a little bit nicer on static analysis tools. So let me show you two different static analysis tools that uh, this pattern will confuse. And, and the reason that it confuses them is this argument is completely unused in this function. Uh, which many many IDEs and other tools will flag as an error unless they know about PyTest specific magical weirdness, um, which um, yeah, which which enables this to work in PyTest. Uh, let me first show you that this actually works. If we do virtual VM, we have been activate uh, PyTest t. Oh, we got pip install PyTest default. first, of course. So we do PyTest t. Py. Uh, <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> why didn't why didn't this work? Oh, because I copied the code wrong. Whoops. This was supposed to be system. I was I was rewatching my own video to copy the code into it, so of course I made a transcription error. Uh, but yeah, you can see that you know if I if I change from use fixtures to this form clear LRU cache. Uh, then it it's it works the same as using use fixtures. Uh, use fixtures is just a decorator which enables the fixture but doesn't pass it into the function. And uh, yeah, so just to show you that this this works as well. Um, but let me show you two uh, static analysis tools that this confuses. Uh, the first is a tool that I wrote called Dead, which is a dead code detection tool. It is very very simple. It is not a very smart tool, and so of course it doesn't understand. PyTest's shenanigans. And uh, if we run dead here, you'll see that it reports a few things that it thinks are dead code. And uh, the first is that it doesn't know that this fixture is implicitly called by a framework. So you can see here on line 28, which is you know right here. Uh, oh wait, 28. Oh, 28 is, <laughs> never mind. 28 is the one we're talking about here. On line 22, so right here, it know it doesn't know that this function is implicitly called. It also doesn't know that these two test functions are implicitly called. So I'm going to ignore these three down here. They're not what we're talking about today. Uh, the thing that we're talking about today is these two errors on line 28 and 33. And it's saying here that this function argument is unused. Um, and in fact, it is unused. There's nothing in this function which references this variable. However, if I uh, undo what I just did and put the uh, use fixtures decorators back. You'll see that when we run the dead code detection now, it's you know no longer thinks that those two are unused. And it still thinks this function is unused because it still doesn't know about pytest.fixture. But you know it, it it could be smarter than it is. So anyway, that's one one static analysis tool that gets confused by that pattern, and another one is pylint, which was a very popular linter and much much more. <laughs> Much more development time has gone into it than uh, my silly dead tool. And again, if we run pylint on t.py, uh, all right, of course, pylint is going to complain about some other stuff like useless doc strings. <laughs> Great, <laughs> cool, doc strings. Uh, I also disagree with this, um, but I, that's for another video. But anyway, you can see that it, it's okay with this form. But if we, oh, I didn't do a clean undo redo, so it's not in the redo stack. So we'll just redo this. Um, but if we do it this way, you'll see that Pylint is going to complain about this in two different ways. One, that we're redefining an outer name. So this name shadows this name here. 
and the other that that is an unused argument so pilot gets grumpy but anyway that's the reason <laughs> static is now static analysis tools uh if the fixture is unused i tend to use use fixtures instead of the parameter form but anyway hopefully that was helpful hopefully that answered that question if you guys have additional stuff you want to see leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms but thank you all for watching and i will see you guys in the next one